What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Philip Hergovic, Dempsey McKean. Get this. Shit show, shit show, shit show. No two ways about it. That's what I saw. The performance was poor. Philip Hergovic had the power, but he didn't have the footwork, and he started to gas out. Dempsey McKean had the footwork, uh, faster. I wouldn't necessarily equate that with speed necessarily. Uh, no power. Southpaw, jab, grab, literally all night long. Um, I want to address something very important uh, about this fight. Dempsey McCain you can't fault him entirely because he was just trying to survive because the odds were against him. Philip Hergovic was supposed to stop him. 65% of the people that voted on the DAZN uh, voting poll said that, hey, he was going to lose. Okay, he was going to lose by knockout. And I think his alternative and his uh, whole motivation was to survive. I don't even think it was the win because the way he was jabbing and grabbing, you couldn't have won like that. He wasn't going to win like that. Well, Philip Hergovic, I'm ashamed of him because he takes a part in this fuckery simply because he didn't know how to close. He landed shots here and there, but didn't couldn't captivate on it. He couldn't close the show himself. He allowed Dempsey McKean to clinch him. You don't supposed to do that. That tells me he doesn't have the experience his damn self. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, let's look at this. I'm trying to find the referee Marcus McDonald. This guy, okay, is the sole culprit in this fight for it going the way it goes. Why? Because he was the third person in the ring. He was the guy that allowed all the clinching, all the grab assing, all the hug of warring, all the shit that didn't equate fighting, okay? He was older, uh, and I'm not discriminating against old people by far. However, he didn't do his job. He once warned Dempsey McCain for the holding, and he gave him that last warning. He said, like, one more time, but after that, McKean did it 20 more times. So, yeah, the blame is to be led on Marcus McDonald, Philip Hergovic, and I guess Dempsey McKean because he didn't really come to fight. He came to survive. It was a shitty event. Now, this, the last part in the 12th round, this shit lingered for 12 rounds, okay? Hergovic caught him with a solid right hand. Dempsey McKean did the usual. And Hergovic caught him with a right hand on the inside. He had enough space to land a shot. After that, he landed a shot behind the head. That referee should have came in after that because that was clearly a foul. I think he caught him with a piece of the elbow as well. After that, um, McKean was, was out on his feet. There's no standing eight, but he started to count. This referee, okay, McDowell, started to count. And after the fourth count, he waved off the fight. Listen, that was the one of the worst refereeing that I've ever seen. That guy, McDowell, he needs to take a break, sit back, and see how it's really done from other referees that know what the hell they're doing. Okay? But it was a poor performance from Dempsey McKean, but I can't fault him because this is the first time that he stepped up. Nobody really knew who he was. He was an undefeated Australian fighter that fought mostly Australian fighters. Whenever you're fighting the local boys, you don't see how good you really are because you don't go abroad. You don't see what it's like to fight someone from other countries. And this is what he ran into, the Croatian Hergovic. Well, speaking of Hergovic, Hergovic, I didn't see, was in any type of shape to beat any of the top guys. Okay, so Usyk, the, the supreme southpaw, the unified heavyweight champion will mop the floor with Philip Hergovic. Okay, so that's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Hergovic is not on that level. He showed me he wasn't on that level because he wasn't able to get McKean out quicker. 
But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Philip Hergovic strangely stopping Dempsey McCain. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.